if you expected the market to slow down over the holidays, I've got some news for you. You were wrong. There's nothing wrong with being wrong about the market. It is unpredictable in so many ways. Happy 2022, everybody, and happy new year to you. Thank you for coming by the channel again. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell so that you are the first to know everything new happening here in the Ocean City real estate market. So let's dive right in. I'm going to skip the slides. I'm going to skip the fancy stuff and give you the short and sweet version because I covered a lot of this in my 2022 predictions video, which you can access via the link above. But inventory took a huge plunge. Um, we were just above 200, about 216 toward the end of the year when I did that video. We now dropped to 198 active properties in the market. We had some expire off, more went under contract, and we've only had a handful come on over the past week or two. So as expected, inventory took a dive. Now that we are in 2022, I do expect things to trickle up very, very slowly, right? We're going to see a little bit of wavering. It might look like this versus a straight line up, but I think we're going to crawl into the next two months as inventory does slowly increase, but it is not going to be very much. So what I can say again with confidence for the probably fifth time in a row, the fifth month running we have reached a stable market. We have been in a stable market despite the price increases. December's pending and closed sales lined up almost identically with that in 2019. So we have achieved a new equilibrium and I do not expect that to change. I do expect that demand is going to stay strong into the spring. I think we're going to see a very similar spring to what we saw last year where we have multiple offers, where we have buyers having to slash terms and clean up their contingencies in order to just get a property. Gone are the days of, hey, honey, let's go house shopping. Let's go look at five, pick which one we want to negotiate with and get it for some substantial amount below asking price. That is not the world we live in. We haven't been living in that world for nearly two years now. So if you are still in that mentality, if you're still waiting for that day to come, you're going to have to keep waiting or you're going to have to jump in with both feet and secure something before the big demand comes. I'll give you the quick and dirty rundown. Prices are continuing to increase. Days on market continuing to decrease. Inventory, as I already mentioned, decreased pretty substantially, especially if you take it into consideration where we were back in October around 300 properties. We're coming up closing in on a 50% reduction in inventory in a handful of months. That is ridiculous. So my advice to you, if you are looking to buy here in Ocean City, is do not hesitate to pull the trigger if you see something that you like and that works for you. If it's a little bit more than you're comfortable spending or that you feel like something is worth, I urge you to look at the bigger picture of what that same or a similar property will cost you simply a month or two from now. That's not even taking into consideration what interest rates are likely to do, which is go on up three times throughout this year. So that is it. My message remains the same. If you are looking to buy, the sooner you do it, the better off you are going to be and your wallet will thank you. And if you are looking to sell, this is an excellent time to sell, but please ask yourself this question. If you decide to sell, what are you going to do with your profits? If you don't have a clear plan of why you're selling outside of, oh, I want to catch the market and time it and get out on top, you have some more thinking to do. Otherwise, you risk making a mistake and you don't want to do that with a substantial investment like your property here in Ocean City. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below or you can always reach out to me directly. My contact info is down in the description. Appreciate you spending time once again with me here on my channel and I will see you on the next video.